Also in Washington, CBS News political director John Dickerson. John, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. What is the president trying to do here? Well, I think the president's basically he's trying to fix more than just a political black eye because there's a point where these problems could threaten the entire enterprise. You know, the success of the president's health care plan depends on signing up those younger Americans so that insurance pools don't just get filled up with older, sicker Americans, which would increase the premiums. And the website's functioning was crucial to that, not just to get people signed up, but also to start the flow of positive stories through social media, which is where those younger, harder to reach Americans are. The idea was that people would get lured into signing up after hearing a flood of great stories about how easy it was to sign up, how the subsidies were going to lower your premiums. But that's not the, the stories people are hearing. To the extent they're hearing anything, it's that this program is a mess. And, and John, initially the president said this was like a glitch and compared it to Apple rolling out its new operating system. Why the shift in tone? Because it's been far worse than a glitch. It's been a, a total uh, fiasco, as Senator McCain said. And the problem here is that the administration could get into sort of a credibility death spiral. There has always been charges from the, the right that the president's health care promises didn't turn out to be true. But then some of those uh, charges turned out to have some merit. The president said if you had your own health care plan and you were satisfied with it, you'd be able to keep it. Well, that didn't quite turn out to be true. These, uh, we were told before this was launched that it had been tested up and down, sideways and backwards, the way that the IRS uh, electronic filings had been tested, that everything was going to be okay. Well, now Secretary Sebelius says it wasn't tested enough. Then we were told, well, these are just tiny little glitches. They are not tiny little glitches. So, and so the problem is that it's, that it's one uh, of false promise after another, and that could be a big, big problem. But they all got a time problem, don't they? When I mean, you've got this December 15th sign-up time, uh, and people who look at this say it's much more difficult than simply fixing the login. You really have some real glitches here that are going to take some time. That's right, Charlie. It's not just the, the fact that you can't get in the front door, but that even you know, those people who are able to sign up, the trickle of information that's getting to insurers turns out to be wrong. There are duplicates, and the insurance companies are having to go back and, and check each one of these signups, which um, delays the process, costs more money. Uh, and so there's a problem that's being reported that's throughout the entire system, not just the kind of pretty website. All right, John Dickerson, thank you.